All right, guys, how are we doing? Okay, so you know someone who is new to biking, they've recently got themselves their very first motorcycle. I want to give you five practical gift ideas for them that I think they will find very handy. Let's do it. All right, so number one, I would recommend getting them a motorcycle cover. Um, they, they have two benefits really. One is to keep the elements of the bike, so it keeps your bike looking better for longer. And also it keeps away, um, let's just say prying eyes, um, especially here in London. The, an element of out of sight, out of mind definitely rings true. So I would recommend you get one with uh, eyelets, metal eyelets along the bottom of the cover so you can secure it underneath. Because if not, especially in London, like I say, they'll most likely nick the cover if they can't nick the bike. That's just the way things are. So first recommendation, a motorcycle cover. All right, so recommendation number two would be getting them some good quality protective clothing. Now that can be in the form of boots, trousers, jacket. Obviously, they're going to have the helmet anyway or good quality gloves. Um, now this kind of, it doesn't need much explaining, but I think it's a very good uh, practice to get into early on in your biking life to, uh, for every time you go out on the bike, to put some sort of um, protective gear on, um, because you don't want to come off the bike wearing a pair of flip flops and a pair of shorts. You do not want to do that. So um, recommendation number two, good quality protective clothing. All right, so recommendation number three, I would uh, recommend some form of additional security. So as well as your motorcycle cover, which acts as an element of security, um, always put on your steering lock. I know it's the weakest sort of link in the chain, but do it anyway, it's there, you may as well use it. And also get a disc lock, a good quality disc lock, because they're relatively light, you can carry it with you on the bike, and it takes seconds to attach attach it to your disc and it could be the difference of the bike being there when you come back or not. So I always put a disc lock on um, even if I'm just popping into the shops for 20 seconds. It's it's five seconds out of your life and it could be the difference of your bike being there or not like I said. So uh, a disc lock and also if your bike's going to be kept at home in a garage which is away from your house um, I recommend getting a good quality ground anchor and the beefiest chain and padlock combination your budget will allow. Now I'll leave some uh, links down below for um, the ones that I use and also uh, some recommendations for um, disc locks so you don't have to go searching for it. Okay, so recommendation number three, some additional security for your bike. All right, recommendation number four is uh, I recommend getting them some tools. Um, just the basic stuff, a socket set from Halfords, maybe a set of um, screwdrivers, some Allen keys, uh, pliers, stuff like that, just the basics. So it enables them to um, um, do their own basic servicing. By that I mean things like oil change, oil filters, air filters, brake pads, spark plugs just the basic, basic servicing needs that your motorcycle requires every so often. If you give them the tools to do those jobs, not only will it save them money in the long term, it will also boost their confidence. And it, there's nothing like tinkering with your bike to figure out where stuff goes, how it works, and it, it kind of forces you to look really closely at your bike so you get a, a, a better relationship with it, if you know what I mean. So a good quality toolkit, like a nice socket set from Halfords, like the one I've been using for the last 15, 20 years, does the job perfectly. So recommendation number four, a good quality toolkit. Okay, so recommendation number five, five is, uh, <laughs> I recommend, in order for them to use this toolkit properly, um, I would suggest you buy them a Haynes manual, or if Haynes don't do it, you can get an equivalent, but most, I think Haynes cover most bikes these days, to be honest, um, but you can get from most dealerships a 
workshop manual, which will cover basic things like, like what I said, like oil changes, air filter, brake pads, that sort of stuff. So they'll have the tools to do the job, but they'll also have the know-how, which is written down in black and white in front of them. So um, that is my recommendation number five, a decent Haynes manual or equivalent for their bike so they know how to do the work properly. All right, so there you have it, guys. So those are my personal recommendations for uh, gifts for new bikers in your family. Uh, if you have any other ideas, just put them down below so you can all share, uh, all share this information and hopefully keep this new biker on the road for as long as possible. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye. All right, actually, before I edit this video, what I'm gonna do down below, I'm gonna leave a link for everything that I've mentioned um, so it saves you the bother of searching for it. I'll just leave rec um, links for products that I either do use or have used in the past uh, from various retailers. I'm not affiliated with these people in any way. I'm not making money from any links or if you buy something, I don't make money from it. Um, so this is just good old fashioned spreading the love. All right, that's it, go on, get out of here. Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. <laughs>